morning, everybody. Welcome to Lock Pod, Belgium's top rated podcast. Good morning, Mayor Tom. Hey, what's up? I am Motive. What's up, Linz? Hello. Javez. Good morning. I almost slept in and missed the show today. Me honestly. too. Ironically, I kind of almost did too. Did you, John? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no pressure. No, John's the most responsible Dude. of all of us. Like, I yes. was like, <laughs> yeah. Oh. I woke up and then, like, I was like, wow, I slept later than I ever do. I, I woke up at like seven o'clock. That is late. And that I was like, late. wow. That's and when I, I, woke up. I woke Patrick up, who slept <laughs> <What>? in. <laughs> Today, Patrick slept in. The, it's like a thing today. Oh, maybe it's a weather. I was like, get the hell up, maybe Patrick. You got to go to weather. school. So Patrick's running out, and then I was just doing my normal morning stuff. And then I was like, holy crap, I got it's the podcast late. this morning. I did the, like, I got up, and I was like, I'm just going to lay down here just for a second. Oh. And then it was the really? 20 minutes later, and I was like, whoa. You guys cleaned get up going. nice for waking up 30 minutes ago. Oh, I'm dirty as hell. I'm no, I woke up at 520. You'd never know. My, my snooze was from 530 to 550. Okay. I'm just wearing sweats. <laughs> I, I look good, but I smell, you know. <laughs> you always I can't. Bad. I mean, I'm far enough away. Yeah, that's good. So it's whoever <laughs> you're, don't eating, get close whoever to you're eating breakfast with is going to you know, oh, yeah. suffer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't get near me. Well, we're here. It's season six, episode eight. Yeah, season six is taking its toll. Taking its toll. Yeah, yeah. We're all waking up late. Yeah, it's about time we call it a season. <laughs> <laughs> so we could just say we have a seven season now. You guys are in seven seasons already. Well, yeah, but yeah. season six was like four episodes. So. <laughs> we were tired. <laughs> we got tired, so we had the finale. We just called it. Hey, uh, great finale today is going to be though. Yo, <laughs> Britney Spears update coming later. Ooh. All kinds of things. She was coming. posting nudes yesterday. We're gonna, we're don't, we're gonna get into all that. <laughs> My bad. Good for her. You know, you're such a, you can't keep a secret. This, no, that's all right. Oh no, he can't. Are we gonna show him for we're, those of you? Maybe, that but that's part of the, you know, I that's think part we of might the get thing. kicked out or on their, you know, on stream. the live stream. Yeah. No, well, we'll see. We're gonna talk about the, the prison guard got caught in. Yeah, I gotta get it, get a hold of that. And we're gonna talk about you and the campaign trail. We're gonna talk about one of your super fans. Is oh, back. yeah. We're going to talk about that. And then, but first and foremost, let's talk about our their other senator that we have here in Indiana. Well, go ahead. I, Mike Braun. I constantly criticize one. You can criticize the other one. Okay. I don't well, want both of them to think I'm it's on not, him. It's not just that he's against racial interracial marriage, which we've already learned about. Now he and a bunch of uh, GOP senators want to add a new TV rating. Like, what? Is, by the way, what are TV ratings now, Lindsay? Is it like... Why? I guess every before every show you do see it. It pops up like right at the very beginning. It's okay, like a good upper. What are they though? It's not like PG thirteen, right? It's, it's I think it's like they'll pop up. It's like rated E for everybody or something like. like yeah, I, I was watching something the other day and it popped up drug use. Like it just it said like the stuff that's going to happen, right? And now he wants a new one. What's Oof. that? He wants a group of Republican senators, including Braun, want TV ratings updated so parents can block their children from watching shows with LGBT. TQ characters. Yeah. I wonder what the, like, what's the, is it like the rainbow flag? Is it like a, what? Yeah, what's G the qualification there? Yeah, what's the non binary look? Is like just the so he wants man, uh, a woman, female, so if man, they upside have, down. If they have LGBTQ <laughs> actors, actresses, non binary, right. whatever. No, I think that if they're portraying gay people, not. They're gay themselves, right? Oh, like any gay actor, they'd have to put a yeah. <laughs> a for word any now. actor who's like questionable in their sexual <laughs> orientation, so we're just going to be like, you it know. is so stupid. Seriously, it's like it's all culture wars with these guys. They it's they stupid. try to get us focused on bullshit so that they could just kill us with like real issues, like and the women destroyed the environment. And women are losing their their rights. Like three point something million Hoosier women right now are losing their reproductive rights, and he's like, hey, look over here. We want uh, warning labels on LGBTQ, and it gets us all There's outraged. nothing here behind the screen. Right? It's ridiculous. It's like, let's make an issue where there is no issue. I think you said that. Something we did. similar to that. Well, they the try trail. to get us talking about you know, the, the, the trans bill with, with kids and sports, and they get us all fired up about stuff like that. Too. A few years ago. Well, yeah, exactly. There is no uh, cases in Indiana of, because the, the fear is, let me get this straight, that Somebody born at birth male would play in female sports, and the fear is, you know, they would dominate female sports. So the Indiana legislature and the, and the governor are sparring. Proactively. Actually, the governor <laughs> vetoed this, which yes, is outstanding. He but, like, yeah. but he vetoed it because there's not one case of this in Indiana. We're talking about something that's not even a problem. But the Republicans want to get us talking about this bullshit so that we don't focus on the fact that they stripped the civil liberties away from 3.3 million Hoosier women, <laughs> you know, like we get arguing about which bathroom you're going to use and, you know, what warning label are going to be on shows. And we're not talking about the real issues, which is 
for the first time in history, the U.S. Supreme Court stripped away civil liberties from three about point. To, right, yeah. I was about to from three point three million Hoosier women. So let's let's focus on what's real. But Bron wants us to keep on focusing on, and, and he's just ratings. a dumbass. By TV the way. ratings. I, I think <laughs> I think this should be the newest TV rating, John. I think that every time we see Bron's name, we have a big eye on the screen, and it's not for independent; it's for freaking idiot. Okay, every time we Poor hear D something for from him, for, I, I could think of a better D. You know, you brought <laughs> Mary. You brought up um, something just a second ago when you said about Governor Holcomb, and uh, we had kind of the pleasure of seeing him yesterday. We did have at the a pleasure of seeing him, and uh, I thought he, was, I thought he was good. I thought he did it. I thought he did a nice job. You know what? One thing he did really well that mm -hmm. I got to do better on is he has a really good. Uh, he talks with gesticulation gesticulation mm. he is money he is everything he says is like boom his hands are like boom i noticed and that then boom you pointed and it then out boom and yeah. then boom it's like <laughs> what i never do that i'm gonna have to work on that like governor who taught you that he is like I, you would think he's like an interpreter like a sign language interpreter <laughs> when he's talking and he, he's talking and his hands are like yeah, doing he, stuff i was mesmerized by it yeah i know i was you like you kept you kept I was mesmerized. Like, look at that I was like, this he guy, made a great point. And look what bringing, he did with his and hands. And he's like, and his hands are like, bam. Like the hands make the point with it. It's I, like, yeah. you know, we all need to work together. And then like, <laughs> it's just, wow, man. Something to learn from He the brought governor. his A game. He with, did. Yeah. He did. Was, I feel like, honestly, if you didn't even hear a word he said, you could just watch his hands and you could sort of get You understand. Oh, yeah. I know what he's doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're Thanks, right. Governor. You're right, Governor. He is. He is I, you know, one of the things you know, he talked about. Besides, yeah, the real point we were talking about, he, is, he brought his gesticulation. gesticulation. <laughs> it was a game. on. Yeah. A game. Gesticulation A game, John. For sure. the title. Um, gesticulation but, uh, <laughs> game. How do you spell that? I think, yeah, good. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I think that was in Wordle today. T I C U L I U L I T I O N. Anyway, um, but I, you know, you mentioned this yesterday, Mayor, and I thought it was a good point that, like, you know, he's. You said, listen, the governor, he talked about inflation, but he didn't like go partisan on it. No, he didn't like. He was just like. It was Look. really nice. I think it was really like fair, and really like. By the way, like the GOP should get straight like, talk. That's why I think the. Uh, Trump Republicans in Indiana hate Governor Holcomb because he didn't get the memo about you're supposed to attack Biden at every opportunity, <laughs> right? Because like, so they ask him, tell us, what do you think about the price of gas and inflation? And he's like, or they're about the gas tax. He's like, why don't you stop the gas tax? Right. And he said, you're acting like gas is the only thing that's gone up. Mm -hmm. He's like, everything's gone up. And, and, and it's a worldwide problem. And like he was saying the stuff that, that are, it's real. It's like, this isn't a Biden problem. This is a world problem. You know, inflation is not a problem in America. Inflation is a problem across the entire world right now. You know, gas prices don't just affect us Americans. I knew this when I was in the Navy. Go over to Europe and drive a car. It's extremely expensive. Well, and it, I think at the end of the day, right, you want your elected official to be somebody that you, when you listen to and you feel like, okay, they're telling me that straight dope they're they're giving me the truth right or at least straight dope. Dope. straight and, dope. and that's so a, that's in the running for the <laughs> and for straight sorry dope. and with him i kind of feel like he was being you know straightforward and that's honest. why rakita and hates him that's Ron, why... i don't feel a thing out of that guy's mouth no i agree with you, you totally know? so like so what's the overall the overall is we like governor holcomb i i think he's done a uh, okay. good job uh, as don't put say words it. in my mouth say he's done a good job don't as governor put words in my mouth compared to pence Oh, oh yeah, yeah, for sure, definitely. Yeah. Right, I think he's done a good job. I think he handled COVID well. I think he, I did. Too. I think he, I did too. He's a guy when I think that's why the Republicans hate him, right? He's not. Yeah, I, I think so. He takes COVID seriously. He and, took COVID seriously. That's why Republicans hate him. He doesn't blame Biden for everything that's going on in the world. That's why Republicans hate him. And I have a feeling that he cares when he, you know, and you always say this, you know, I, you, on the stump, and I, I think it's a great thing that you have on you. You know, you said I'm going to be a senator for all Hoosiers. I don't care what party you're from. You. And I have a feeling that he kind of has that same mentality. I'm going to be a governor for everyone. That's if you're why from Republicans the region, hate him. Yeah, if that's you're what, in from the region, I'm going to try to help the region. That's why Republicans hate him. Yeah. Seriously. That, this is why he has problems with his own party is because he's an actual governor for Indiana. He actually cares. Like, he's visited Hammond. <laughs> you yeah. Know? yeah. Whoa. <laughs> like, he knows who I am. He doesn't have a yeah. problem sitting with Democrats, talking to I don't think people he likes the though. party. I mean, whether he likes you or not, he I mean, doesn't I, like me. But I think he, notwithstanding, <laughs> he how do you know, Dad? I, 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 I think there's a number of people in the Republican Party who do not like. I don't you. think Holcomb's one of them, but who knows? I, I do. Mean, no. That goes back to the whole. Uh, there's some. Uh oh. Who I, knows? I, I caused some friction. <laughs> well, I mean, that's something. I don't is that something it. new? If there's <laughs> one thing that story. Dad's good at is causing friction, and sometimes it scrapes, and then I always forgive people and move on and act like everything's normal. And some people don't do that. Well. 
I don't know. I think I don't think governor. For some people. Next time I'll see him, I'm going to ask him. Do you like me, governor? <laughs> of course, I like you, man. I like you. I like you. I think I you're good. You. I do talk about him nicely. I don't talk about him like I talked about Pence or Braun. Pence so. was a hor- oh, he was a horrible governor. I didn't, but he was a horrible governor. He, I think he would have lost. He would have lost in 2016. He would have lost in if, 2016. If he was the lucky. Honestly, let's be honest. Pence is the luckiest person in politics. Oh yeah. He what got did? swooped up in a helicopter to Manhattan. Yeah. <laughs> he was you know, dead meat in Indiana. And he was like, yes. peace out, guys. And, and now he's going to be running for president, maybe. Now he's on the short list. Absolutely. I mean, he's obviously somebody that's going to be taken very seriously if he runs for president. I think he has to be. If I he think. runs for president out of his governor's term in Indiana, he would have been laughed at, at, you know, laughed at. Yeah, I think, that, you know, evangelicals love him. I think, you know, a lot of Republicans respect him. I think those that maybe, like Trump, don't like him because they think he should have overthrown the election. But that's a whole other story. So, um Let's do some ads and I come remember, back. I remember the first show at LockPod we did. Mm-hmm. We got the E for explicit, like oh. right off the bat. Right off the Speak, bat. Full so, circle, back to the ratings. So I think that Braun should get the I for whenever he <laughs> talks. I for idiot. So every time he talks. Like warning. They're like, Mike Braun, Indiana, I. Is he an independent? No, he's an idiot. No, that's one of the ratings he, wanted, he <laughs> yeah. wanted to have on TV shows. No, he's just a flat idiot. <laughs> so like every time he speaks. He's just not that bright. Yeah. All right, well, let's have uh, let's do some ads and come back. We got to talk about this prison break that ended up in Indiana. Jailbreak. All right, nearly ten years in the making. Oh, hold on. I like how we start through. out in the morning with a beer ad. Nearly, nearly ten years in the making. Bud Light next. Our first zero carb beer is the real result of a blue. Blah, blah, blah. Wow, dude. Take I'm two. Just, I'm just off to a bad start. Season today. six, episode eight. All right, Calumet Brewery. Nearly ten years in the making. Bud Light next. Our first zero carb beer is the result of a brewing breakthrough. Wow. Making the impossible possible. Super crisp and refreshing. Bud Light Next is a light lager with only four percent ABV and is brewed with the highest quality ingredients while containing only eighty calories. Ingredients. Zero grams of sugar and zero carbs. Here's to what's next. Head over to calbrew.com. That's C A L B R E W dot com for more info. Cheers with beers. Executive Suite Squared, commonly known as ES2, is a first-class executive office environment located on 8094 at the Kennedy Avenue South exit. ES2 offers flexible membership plans that provide the privacy of dedicated, fully furnished offices with 24-7 secured access. For more information on their basic or private membership packages or to rent one of their state-of-the-art conference rooms, call them at 219-844-2901 or visit them at Executive Suites, the number 2, executivesuites2.com. Grizzoli is Concrete. Grizzoli is Concrete was voted number one in the Times Best of the Region in 2020 and in 2021. Grizzoli is Concrete specializes in, in all concrete projects, and they have been using the original cement finish in the California style since 1972. Whoa. They also offer stamped and colored concrete. Call now, 219-659-4147 to get your project lined up for the Dad summer. That could, have been the most, that could have been the most serious reading of Grizzoli is Concrete right. in, in months. I'm, just, I'm off to a bad start. Today. I never get to read this one. Mission Marijuana. Ooh. Are you looking for the closest cannabis dispensary to Northwest Indiana? Question mark. I, by the way, I thought it was funny when Marissa was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a proper lady. Yeah. <laughs> searching, a proper lady. searching for the best prices and unbeatable customer service? Then look no further. Stop in the Mission Dispensary located in Calumet City across the street from the River Oaks Mall on Torrance Avenue and near Starbucks. Visit MissionDispensaries.com to learn more. They also have a South uh, South Chicago location. 87th commercial. and Commercial. 87th and Commercial. It's right next to like a big, uh, it's like Mall. an Ace Hardware, like a old, like really tall, uh, I don't know. It, it's Ancient a famous Ace Hardware. No, it's like, it's pa- no, it's literally, it's like three stories and it's oh. the whole thing is a billboard painted. It's like right there. You can't miss it. I was driving from Cherville at, down 41 North. Yes. I see a. First off, I see a Westland and Bennett ad billboard. Great. Mm-hmm. Then I saw a Mission billboard mm-hmm. in Highland. I mean, they're really expanding oh, yeah. their uh, reach here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's obviously not People illegal. in Highland can like weed. It's not illegal to advertise marijuana in Indiana. No. In fact, you, if you go along the like 8094, you see a bunch of Michigan yes. ones as you're getting close. Yeah. And, uh, Illinois, yeah. But if you like turn around and go to Illinois dispensaries versus Michigan, you made a humongous mistake. Well, I shouldn't say that after you do their <laughs> ad. It's so much cheaper, Very, and I'm not. It's not, no, no. no no problem with Mission. Mm-hmm. I mean, Mission's great. They have Michigan locations also. For it's the just record. supply and demand. It's no, it's, demand it's taxes. Lens. It's ridiculous mm-hmm. what it? they do in, in Illinois. They are just killing you with taxes. And then, literally, if you bought a similar amount in Michigan, it could be significantly less, like twenty twenty five percent less. So you're told, from what I understand. Yes, yeah. <laughs> right from. 
From I, well, I, I talk to a lot of people involved in this industry, and they I, tell me things. Yeah, I mean, I've heard you say on the trail again. I keep, I guess, I've seen you on the trail a bunch, but you say that there's been more taxes received in Illinois for marijuana than over than there are for uh, uh, liquor. Well, think about alcohol. that. At all the baseball games, at all the Bulls yeah. games, and they're the not Bears selling games, weed, and like, <laughs> they're not selling weed there. Right? They will be one day, probably. Wow. That'd be cool. That's not even far in the future. I, mean, I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm in favor of that. Go to a Bulls Cubs and game. Blunts. What's the matter with you? Bulls, <laughs> Bulls and Blunts. <laughs> Shit, to watch the Cubs, you need a freaking weed right now. <laughs> what man. is going on? Did they win last night? Uh, they were, they were on the six like, nothing, I think. Oh. Mm-hmm. Six one. Something. The Cubs. Padres. The Cubs are fucking horrible. Let's be honest, right? Ooh. They're the <laughs> worst guy dang team. I want to. Chris they're not the worst. I mean, Cincinnati yeah. Reds are like four and yeah. thirty or something. I agree, I mean, but like this is a big market. Cincinnati's a different market. I mean, it's a total step down from Chicago. It's embarrassing. The Rickett family, they suck. I know they brought us a World Series, and then they're like, good. We brought them a World Series. Now, screw Cup band. Now they're satiated. Now we just want them to Now we got to wait another 100 years. It's like, honestly, if you went to a restaurant and you, like, had soup and it had, like, hairs in it, it's like multiple hairs, and they just don't give a crap. And, like, you know, the the waiter's talking to you. And, like. And they up the prices. It's like. And they built their big, like, you know, surrounding, like, the Zachary. Right. There goes the old McDonald's, and that's gone. And. I don't care. I just want a good product on the damn field. I just mm-hmm. don't get it. How could we? We're Chicago, the third largest city in America. We have two baseball teams. One of them's really good, and ours just sucks the big one. It's well, just it's like, come cycle. on, Ricketts. Get out of here, cycle. <laughs> we could have signed a couple free agents and been competitive. They're not <laughs> even competitive, dude. I, I guess I'm, I'm getting what I expected because I wasn't that hopeful at the beginning of the year. I got 10 Cubs tickets this year. I don't see me going to one game. So wow. if anybody wants to see Cubs, man, I'm your guy this year because I'm not <laughs> going to watch this crappy-ass team. All Frank right. the Tank, get out of town, dude. That guy sucks. No. He no. does. Frank the Tank. If your name is Frank the Tank, you should never play baseball. That's one of my Sounds rules. Sounds like a... Like a um... Frank the Tank. He it sounds like Thomas, the tank, Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah, it does character. sound like Thomas the Tank. I don't like it. That's why. Yeah, that's why he's batting two hundred five or something. We like have that. another ad to go. Yeah, so we can come Tom's back. Middle and, finger. <sighs> Tom's <laughs> middle finger. <laughs> we love that. Directed segment. at the. Cubs. By the way, I should. We didn't uh, get through ads for him to do it, but he did it. The bug guy. Here we go. The Big bug guy pest bug control. Guy. We're finally thawing from the coldest and wettest spring in the last sixty-three years. Wow, is that statistical? True? Yes, is it according to the bug guy? All right, bug guy knows all. The bug guy. I do too, Lens. Summer temperatures can mean unwanted summer guests, such as ants, flies, wasps, and more, visiting your house and yard. Shut down their party before they get started. A comprehensive plan from the bug guy will help you enjoy the great outdoors, as well as the indoors, all summer long. That's right. To solve your pest problem or to start a preventative plan, call the big bug guy today and tell him, tell the pest that he's on the way. Say, hey, pests, the bug guy's on the way. That's what you say. <laughs> say it, Lens. Ah, hey, beetles. The, bug, the big guy's bad on the bug guy's on his way. That's right. Hey, pests. I love when she pack your that. stuff. The Get big, out. Bad. Say it yeah. again. Big bad bug guy. <laughs> Call Brian. Who is the big bad bug guy? At 219-810-7481. Or visit the bug guy NWI.com. All right, I've got a I've got a quiz here. Yep. Mm. Um I I'm gonna these. give you I'm gonna give you a rating and you tell me what it means. Okay. Just if you know this. All right. Wow. Uh D. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Hold D, it. That's a real rating. D. This is like for first show. Oh, for, for drug TVs. use. For TV. That's drug for drug use. use. Sexual or suggestive dialogue. That's oh, D? D for yes. dialogue. L. <laughs> Lewd behavior? <laughs> Coarse or crude language. Uh. Oh. S. Language. Sex. Sex. Oh, yeah. Tom was quick with that one. Yeah. Sexual situations. Here's the last one. F V. Uh, F is in for... Frank. Family violence? Fantasy violence. Oh, I don't even know what that means. You're freaking twisted if you're watching that. That's Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> That's Game of fantasy Thrones. Is fantasy violence. Fantasy violence. Mm. Fantasy violence is Game of Thrones. F V. Yeah, yeah, like fictional violence. It says it's it's exclusive to the TV seven and under rating. Why seven? Hmm. Seven years old. There you oh. go. F V. Interesting. Fantasy violence. And now we have a new one. Is that like I, I for Seven An I for idiot. <laughs> for idiot. <laughs> All right. Bring hey. this in, locomotive. So uh, we had uh, prison guard Vicky. What's her face? What's White. Her name? Vicky White. They both they were named White, but they're, oh, not, but they're right. not related. But like, uh, they know of. Let me first off. Can if these people passed you, would you guys have known what they look like? No. Um, no. Yes, I, but I probably wouldn't have noticed them. I would have. I done? have not. No. I didn't even know that this was a thing until like I was at work last night and she died. I, I've been out this of the since news since April twenty ninth. Really? I, yeah. I, I don't. Their picture was everywhere. Wow, I would have no. I would guess I would have in my mind. I know what they look like, but I wouldn't have noticed them from like if they were next to me at a stoplight. 
I was I would have I would have said oh that's them no I I, I read ridiculous amounts of news so. sure and so the other day I'm driving on we 65 coming home from I don't know where I was from but I was driving home and on the billboard on 65 I was down in like the indie area mm-hmm. and their freaking picture was up on the billboard yeah and I was like wow like just like obviously you know this is a free ad being played and I mean we caught him in Indiana I was thinking to myself when I was driving I'm like you know. They could easily be in Indiana right now. And you're now. on the road so much. We're the like, crossroads of I could of see them. Like, I, do, I saw the billboard, and I was like, man, they're not going to get away. Like, the, I mean, just random billboards in Indiana are, are flashing. They got away for a while. I mean, April 29th to May 9th. And that's not a bad, like, on the lam. What would you do if you were? I don't know, just man. Like, that's a, I she's guess. like, I ruined my life for you. You know, yeah, I bet so, there's a lot of that going on. I was reading, I was reading the the kind of the facts of this thing. And it was like, she, she put in her retirement papers. She had an unblemished record, like kind of mm-hmm. considered like the mom of the guards, right? The young oh, guards and stuff, man, sold her house for cash oh. at below market value, bought a car, bought some Ford edge under fraudulent pretenses under a different name. And like wow. the day she was supposed to retire, she had this guy and she sh- had him shackled and said, I'm going to take him for a mental evaluation down at the, psych ward or something no. and off she went no this woman right yes here? and never yeah. came back this sweet old lady right yeah. here not yes. yeah now, all look this? That old. now dead there's not a single man on earth that's worth that <laughs> agree <laughs> apparently casey white six foot all six foot nine of them so she's 56 and he's 38 so he was a younger man uh, yes he was <laughs> oh she's a cougar i bet her not anymore wrong not anymore not was a cougar Self-inflicted gunshot wound. That's sad. That is. It sad. is sad. That kind is of a crazy. It just ending seems like it, kind of out of character life. for her. Like, was she having some sort of? That's what the sheriff said, Lindsay. Totally out of character for her. He can't figure out. This isn't the Vicky White he knew. Mm. So, like, maybe she was mm. having some sort of break, or. Mm. Mm. Be She's interesting in love. to see. I, I love makes know, you man. do crazy things. Look what she did. He. <laughs> that man does not look attractive to me. You wouldn't throw your life away for him. I would definitely <laughs> Are you sure? not. Throw your life away so I know it's real. No, what the hell? Like, like, seriously, like, like this is very short-sighted on her part. Like, she was going to retire. She obviously can go on to a second career. She's got a pension coming, and she threw all that away for basically She threw nine her days. life away for this nine guy. Days. Nine days on the road with this, this dude. When you're on the lam, I guess one of the always the questions I have is, how do they switch cars so well? Good question. You know, like, started with a Ford Edge, ditched it somewhere in Tennessee within a couple hours, Got into an F fifty pickup. You don't know how to steal a car. I do not. I don't either. And See, then got I in it. And then a Cadillac. It and then like upgraded and maybe not upgraded. Got into Cadillac somehow in stolen? Indiana. I think. I don't you, know. I think if you're a, a bad guy, if you're a, a felon, a fugitive, that's the first thing you learn is how to steal cars. Required. Yeah, it's like kindergarten for for yeah. felons. Maybe they just went on eBay or like I don't know where do you go for like used cars online and just like bought it cash. Why are they staying at a hotel in Evansville? First off, kudos to Hoosier police officers, the Indiana State Police, Evansville Sheriff, for making our state look good and catching these two wanted felons in our state. They said they were there since May 3rd. But why do you stay in Evansville? What would you, I mean, if you're on the lam, what do you do? I go camping. And I'm not an outdoorsman, but I freaking figure it out. I'm not going to be staying at a goddamn motel in Evansville. I'm going to be in like in the middle of nowhere trying to figure out how to stay alive. I've watched a lot of Naked and Afraid, so I think I can last for a while. <laughs> so you'd buy a tent, you'd not go, a car. Dude, I'd, I'd be, I would have to be naked first off to get in the right frame of mind. So like, <laughs> you'd have a fifth wheel and just like, they're like loading, it, loading it up and going into a campground. Dude, dude I'd dude. get busted because somebody would see me in the woods and there's like a naked there's guy in the woods. There's naked guy just <laughs> well, like, I'm just the testing. Woods, I'm, I'm just auditioning. I'm auditioning for Naked and Leave Afraid. <laughs> Wait a second. Is that that fella? It's like, why did I have to be naked? I blew it all. I could have just gone. Tom's we all know this. Tom's dream is to be on Naked and Afraid. I want it. For sure. <laughs> Dude, I would just out of... He would love it. Just out of willpower, I'd make it like five days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if like come bugs get are me. all over me. Yeah, come get me. There's no way I would leave before five days. <laughs> <laughs> Sheer willpower. So what do you do? You get to the island and you're naked. Yeah. The first thing you do is build shelter. I then would. you got to have somebody that has I like a plan. You, need to a make a fire. you have the fire starter. The flint. You have to coordinate with your partner. So like, I bring the big knife and then she brings the fire starter, right? Why can't she bring a big knife? Because if, if you have two big knives, you're freaking screwed. Yeah, you bring you're the fire there. starter. Yeah, we both got knives. You use it on each other because she, nobody brought the fire she starter. She just meant, why can't the woman bring the big knife and you bring the fire There's starter? There's got to be some coordination. Okay. That's all I'm saying. I don't care who you brings what, right? Because okay. well, you got to have fire. Lindsay's all, all over like, okay. you, why wouldn't the woman Lindsay, bring the knife? Lindsay, fine. <laughs> you bring the freaking knife. I'll bring the fire starter. But Sounds if good. we have two knives, don't you're screwed, right? Well, look at her shirt today. I mean, of course, 
Oh, that's a, oh, oh, that's a feminine green hat. hat. Feminine ah, hat. Okay. Very nice. So, yeah. So, that would be my naked and afraid strategy. <laughs> but why did they stay in a hotel in Evansville? That's what I'm saying. Haven't these people yeah. ever seen? There's no ah. security cameras in the freaking woods. Uh, maybe they. Maybe it's like a death wish. You hey, know you're going to get don't, caught. They don't watch naked so and let's afraid. Just, uh, and, by, and maybe he wanted to live normally for however long he could on the lam. Uh, there's, I, I'm with Tom. There's so much at stake, and they just rent a hotel room. It yeah. just doesn't. I mean, do they, they really think they're going to get away with it? I don't. Well, I, for how long? Do you think they had it was hope? his idea? Do you think he even knew this? She was planned happen? this whole thing out. What? No, he definitely did. Oh, I mean, right? He it, did mention. He did refer to her as his wife at the at the scene where she was shot, where she shot herself. I said, common love. My wife. Got, they got married. Common law. Maybe they went to Vegas, and drove back to Evansville. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you could do it in that Seems amount. Seems like they time. just went right up sixty-five Dude, that or sucks. sixty-nine. It's or a sad worry. story, it, man. It really is. I. Uh, it's a very sad story, but like, yeah, I don't know. We missing well, anything on there? This? You go. No, I don't think so. Except that <clears throat> glad they're caught and or caught the guy. He's back in jail. He's a murder suspect. And um, good work by the law enforcement. Get him. Yep. Hey, uh, this would definitely be rated FV. Fantasy, fantasy violence. violence. Yeah. This isn't fantasy. This is real violence. No, but they yeah. had this fantasy. Oh, oh they lived. A, they were living a fantasy violence. life. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Woo. That'd Next. be scary. Like you know, most people in America know what you look like. Yeah, that's a that's not easy. No, I do it. If they would have walked past me, I would have recognized them. And wow. Yeah, I would have for, for sure. sure. Uh, well, wow. she had a wig six on. nine. She had a wig. She had a wig. The six nine. No, no, no. no. That was her no. normal look. Six nine gives it away though. Like if you saw a six nine yeah, guy. So he, First off, I think she was more recognizable than her, than him. I don't know, man. When you're six nine, you stand out. Gotcha. I agree with you on that. And so, like, so he has to stay in the hotel all the time, and then she's out there. Like, she should have probably shaved her head or something like, like that. Anybody six nine in like the lower Indiana to Tennessee area, everyone's like, hmm, is that it? Is that him? Mm-hmm. Six nine. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, uh, I got a troll back. Oh. Oh. You do? Yeah. It's like a cicada. It's like like a bug. Every once in a while, he comes back. This is Representative Heath Van Adder. I'm talking about super fan. Yeah, he's trolling me again. What are those called? Stands. I don't ever respond to him. They're called stands. Yeah, I've never heard of that. It's a term that is used in reference to an Eminem song, Stan, about that super fan who Uh, who, like wasn't getting attention. I've never heard that. I know the song you're talking about, though. But nowadays they call themselves like if you're like a super fan of somebody, you're called a stan because... You're like it's the same devoting thing. your life. It's the same thing as a troll, right? He no, a no, troll stan. hates you. A stan loves you and no. oh, okay. loves every single thing about you. So you're saying Heath Van Adder loves me? Yeah. Wow. Aww. Thank you. Is he a troll or is he Beautiful. a stan? I think he's or a stan. Is he a super fan? See, it's a guy love between two He guys. loves me deep down inside. You know, honestly, I, I'll, Romance. Do, I'll do respect him when he first got elected. Him and another state rep, uh, Morris. Uh, there were two young guys got elected to the state house in 2010. Okay, I remember very clearly that was Tea the party year. year. Tea party year, and I was super nice to him as I usually am. And back in those days, by the way, everybody was nice to everybody in the state house. It was actually sort of a pleasant place to do business. Uh, that has changed, it's kind of <laughs> and the it's because of the end. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, so uh, he, Representative Van Adder and I started off on the right foot, like friendly, unfriendly terms with each other, and uh, now he's a uh, Stan. So I, I agree with you, Lindsay. I think he's a stan. He's not a troll. Trolls he hate me. That. You're saying I'm using Lindsay's definition term. Stan here. secretly, Stans, outwardly love you, secretly they, love you. They are fan, so fan. You like know. your Game of Thrones stan. All right. Well, now he is. Check that out. So anyway. What does right. he say? So this is in response, <laughs> by the way, to a out. post you made or tweet you did. <laughs> well, right? why don't you go ahead? It's weird. Yeah. So the tweet that, um, that Tom put on his uh, personal Twitter account is, Quote, Todd Young is like, hey, I've got $5 million. Screw you. I don't need to talk to Hoosiers because I've got $5 million. The only time he shows up in public is if you're paying 5800 to see him, McDermott said Friday on his podcast at Lockpot. Oh, Lockpot in the news. Lockpot in the news. Um, and, that was, and then there was, a, there was kind of a, a little blurb in there or link that says, watch now, McDermott challenges Young to nine debates to help decide the U.S. Senate race. Um, yeah, Lockpot made the news last week after Friday's show. All over, by the way, and then it was all over the state. And then your Stan um, responds. <laughs> your Stan, my Stan. Yes, Hi, no, Stan. no likes, by the way, on this tweet. Of because his. I never <laughs> respond to Van Adder when he responds, because he's he always responds. I noticed, like, oh, he's snarky. He's snarky. No Nothing. comments. No, no retweets. Like, no likes. I know he has like three hundred people to follow. Him, so like, <laughs> I noticed on his Twitter there are very few likes. Like his last one got like one like. So anyway, he responds saying, "I see both our senators regularly in my area." Haven't seen you yet. Does that mean you don't show up? 
or we just haven't crossed paths question mm. mark and then he That's got a like kind of question and he got kind of ripped by some people his own constituents started coming after him. Yeah, this yeah. guy actually got a like. It's a good yeah. Guy. <laughs> no, his own, that's the great part is I never respond to Representative Van Adder because right. I don't want to encourage him to do more because he's only got a couple hundred people to follow him. I mean, so he like, wants you to respond. To if, I respond if I respond to him, then I'm like giving him way more attention than he deserves. So I usually just blow his little bullshit off, right? Yeah. So like, but that, not his constituents. His constituents like <laughs> took it to him. Came to your rescue. I love it, man. This is so great. <laughs> it's, it's, so this Lana is Ajo. Yes, go says, ahead. Of course, you see both senators regularly. You're a member of their party and a fellow politician. How many town hall meetings have you either had? How many were only for large donators? Of course, you see them. Another one. You're a member. Oh no, no, that's the same one. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> keep going, John. Yep. You got the next one. Here it is. Name so the then another. Lindsay, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Name the number of times that either Senator Young or Senator Braun has been in our area, quote unquote, available to the public. You may, you will not be able to an- honestly answer. Exclusive meetings with private organizations don't count. And this guy got four likes. Four likes. And then Van <laughs> Adder responds back with so no he's likes. Like, he's like defending himself, <laughs> right? Senator Young, this is Van Adder. <laughs> no Senator likes. Young was in Lafayette a couple weeks ago, and Senator Braun was in Carroll County. Both events were open to the public. No, they were not public meetings. He he simply cannot tell the truth. That's it. Wow. This is like a, a freaking melee of the his own theater constituents. Of politics. Man. So like this guy <laughs> tries you, to beat Twitter. me up, and then his own constituents start beating the shit out of him, and he goes away on me, which is very very wow. much appreciated. And his by tweet's this. got no likes. Zero. This U.S. Senate candidate appreciates the Stan Adder's representatives for beating the crap out of him for me. Great work. He's Thank got you. A, he's got a, let me get in on this profile picture of his. It's mm-hmm. Oh, it's pretty. Pretty nice. He's got nice that like photo. high school drop background when you get your high school <laughs> photos taken. You're right. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. It's a pretty solid picture. <clears throat> Looks look official. That. Anyway. Got a yeah. suit on. So, Representative Van Adder, we appreciate you on LockPod, and we have determined that you're not a troll, that you are, a, what is it again? A stan. A stan. Thank you, stan. He and thank you, stan. For, thank you for giving us some uh, interesting LockPod. Yeah, LockPod making the news. People are listening. By the way, it's sort of distressing for me. Like they, because I had a few people call up and say it was a great uh, story that came out after Friday's show. You mean the nine debates? The nine debates. That was the key to the story. But what I didn't realize is, you know, Dan Carden out there, who's a great reporter, I appreciate very much. Dan Carden took like every word I said during that whole segment and put it into an article. Well, hey, man, if you're talking, you got to be quoted. So like the the thing is, like for those of you listening to LockPod, this is the best listened to verbally, (laughs) not in print. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot different when you read this word. He's like, did I say that? Holy shit. I called him a weasel. I was like, I don't even remember saying the word weasel. I think we should have an understanding with the press that when I'm talking on LockPod, it's verbal and and it's not meant for print. You know what right. I'm saying? The press is going to I'm going to ask the, pre- the press to respect LockPod <laughs> from now on and not quote me verbatim yeah. on the show because it looks a lot different when it's in your newspaper <laughs> versus <laughs> hearing it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just going to ask. Tom reads the, it in his morning paper. So members of the media, I ask you to respect LockPod. <laughs> respect LockPod. Let That's me just flow. Order. Let me flow on LockPod. Don't be <laughs> quoting me verbatim. It just looks a lot different. Yeah, on Sunday. Don't do your job. Inside. Paraphrase me. <laughs> <laughs> Paraphrase me. <laughs> Make me look better. You guys are making me look like shit using my own words. You know, <laughs> so nobody wants to read that stuff on a Sunday morning, right? Your time in this the morning, what, just reading the paper. Oh my God, Marissa, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. It's like, damn, man, Carton's I mean, down there taking every word down. Did I really say his job. I would put cocaine in a lobster? <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite bits we did on here. That was one of the best episodes. What was that? Uh, the lobster gram. Lobster, lobster gram. gram. Yeah, because Kevin got a lobster. All started out with me getting a Christmas present and, and ended up like, with a, you know a drug dealer. It was it's a cartel. <laughs> it's a cartel. <laughs> they f- stuff each lobster full of cocaine. Wait Kevin, till that happens, and you're gonna be like, I I told that's you. That's right, Kevin. He's the only one that ever got the real lobster. Yeah, like, really everybody good. else that orders it is. It's a weird lottery to win. Like all of them Kevin's have like, cocaine except for one. God, I would love this one. lobster. It's the best freaking lobster. I'm it's like, like there's a kilo it. in it. So you, Tom, you you mentioned kind of just in passing on Lockpod about the nine debate thing, and that you're saying that got picked up by the press across the state, John. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I've been seeing a lot about it. Wow. Lots of sassy people. On What's the wrong with having one debate per district? Yeah. No, I think that's a great idea. I think it's awesome if it's open to the public and people can come and see you guys and hear your ideas. But it's I think that debates. he's not going to do that. A lot that. of debates. We should honestly do ninety two. One yeah. in each county. <laughs> Let's do one in every city. Why like, stop at nine? Like the Lincoln Douglas <laughs> 92. Let's do thousands of Seriously, them. Seriously, 
Let's, let's go. just pop up a freaking like a uh, on the back of train. A soap yeah. car out or yeah. at the back no, of a pickup. Like a couple of tree stumps. That's right. And just just go. It's like Lincoln Douglas. Yeah, like, just like, like back Lincoln in the Douglas. Day. That's what I was looking for. My mind's not working this morning. <laughs> no, you woke up late. <laughs> I know, dude. My I'm like gummed up in my head right now. Will there be gummed any up? debates? I don't oh, yeah. be. What's there your prediction? Well, at yeah, the I moment, want to debate as much as he I, wants. I think Indi- Indiana has like a debate uh, requirement. Commission. Yeah. No, there's no requirement. This there's no requirement, but they have a Why would he debate? He's got $5 million. Screw you, Hoosiers. Uh, I got $5 million. Here I comes Van Natter. It's the truth, man. <laughs> he, he doesn't think he has to like follow the rules. <laughs> it's like, hey, I got $5 million. Screw you. You know? I want to. How about this? I want to debate as much as possible. I, if, I will debate more than nine times. Hmm. I'll debate once. I think once in each county is a good framework to start with. <laughs> 92. We'll hit the road. Better start now. Three Seriously. months later. Yeah, that be great? 92 that be great? days in a row. So if Todd Young wants to do 92, I'm open. Maybe we'll I'm do open. two every other day. I'm open to 92. <laughs> if he wants to just do nine, I'm open to nine. What if county can counties combine and like agree to like, yeah. okay. like Lake Porter? We could combine you know. like 92 down to like 60. <laughs> we should start from 60. Okay. I will do 60 debates. Up to. I think 60 is a little bit too high. Actually, yeah. uh, 61 might a little combined with little Vanderberg. So, like, I'm willing to do up to 60 debates. All right. Okay. We and got him down like a third, John, just like that. So, Todd Young, <laughs> if Todd Young only wants to do one debate, if there's only one debate, it's not because Tom McDermott wanted. I want 60. I want nine. I'm a, I'm a big number but debate guy. I like the range. Todd's only going to give us one option. He'll want to do like one perfunctory debate so he can tell people he in Indianapolis. Me. He's freaking dodging me, man. He's mm-hmm. afraid. Like if he gets on the same stage, he can't be protected by his five million dollars if he's on stage with me. That's why he's got five million dollars. He thinks he could like swaddle himself in dollar bills and oh. just protect himself. If he's on stage with me, it doesn't matter how much money you got, Todd. I'll beat your ass on that stage. I'm sure money verbally, swaddle. verbally swaddle like yourself. He'll swaddle himself in hundred dollar bills, but uh-huh. on that stage, he has to leave the money <laughs> off to the side. Now I'm picturing everything you say being printed, and yes, that is me some too. funny quotes right there. <laughs> I'm already good. The word swaddle, swaddle is in going money. To be, by I'll the way, beat your ass on how many stage? Senate candidates oh, use the word swaddle? <laughs> I don't know. Or how many say I'm going to beat you your can... ass on stage? I mean, verbally. I said verbally. <laughs> Let's verbally. clarify, verbally. please. Verbally, that five million dollars won't protect him. That figuratively, honest to God, that's the real reason he's not going to debate me is because he's got five million dollars and it cannot protect him. Once he walks on that stage, that five million dollars off to the side doesn't matter how much he got on that stage, Todd. If you can't, it's going to be you and me. It's going to be you and me. Annapolis Marine versus enlisted. And I'm a squid. Squid. You cannot take a squid is challenging you to multiple debates and he is like hiding. Don't ever say you're a marine again if that's the case. (laughs) You go around the stage. I'm a marine. I'm a marine. I'm a marine. I'm a squid and I'm challenging a marine to a debate. I challenge you to a celebrity boxing match. And you're just blowing me <laughs> off. Like, what's going on? You cannot, ears. You're losing your credentials as a Marine, Todd Young. You are. Like, you cannot tell wait people you're he a says Marine. That on, wait till Tom says that on stage. Uh, I'm, waiting. <laughs> I'm testing Dan Garden. I want to see how much he's going to quote me. So. I challenge you to a boxing match, and you're blowing me off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's, let's, do some, let's do the rest of our ads, and we're going to come back. So Sounds that, good to me. This is good stuff. Wow. All right. <clears throat> the Ron J. Preston I would love to take my insurance agency. I would love to take my blood pressure right now. Um, you It'd be a, interesting. Where's your blood pressure cuff? You got it ring on. What's it saying? <laughs> does that, it doesn't test my blood like pressure. Squeeze oh, it doesn't? Finger? No. I it did everything. Squeezes sure? my finger. Yeah, <laughs> it does not. I probably. I think you said that ring <laughs> did everything. <laughs> it does. Except it blood does. pressure. It doesn't have blood pressure. You know, it's the one day I don't have my blood pressure cuff with me. I could have done it. Right oh, now. what Let's kind of nurse oh, are you? Do it on the air. Yeah. You got to start bringing it. I have mine. I have mine downstairs. I have mine. Lindsay, let me hear like. Yeah. Whenever Tom gets fired up, we'll take his blood pressure. Sounds good. It's on air. Yeah. Well, if you're thinking about uh, your blood pressure, you might be thinking about life insurance. And go no further than the Ryan <laughs> J. Prestimer Insurance Agency, which has been located for decades right in Indianapolis Boulevard. They specialize in a wide variety of insurance products and services, including auto, home, business, yes, life insurance for those people with high blood pressure, and much more. The Prestimer Agency serves over 1,000 people and businesses all around Chicagoland and the Midwest. Call Ron, Ronnie, or Michael at 219-844-0103. John Cantrell, Kristen Cantrell, two great attorneys, have a law firm right here in Hammond, Indiana, 7235 Indianapolis Boulevard. That's right. I know their address off the top of my head. And let me tell you something about both of them. Both incredibly you know, intelligent. Both are very experienced uh, litigators. And I, if you remember, John did a show in here a couple months ago where we took a case. I forgot which case it was. And he made a defense for that the case. The Holbert High School teacher. It was. He yeah. made a defense. Oh, it was Chesterton. For that. Chesterton, <clears throat> sorry. 
Caught with some coke. Yeah, yeah. well, like Allegedly. it fell out of his he dropped pocket. It, dropped Allegedly. it in the parking lot. Yeah. And then the we mom found it, took it home, yes. and then brought it back the next day. Mm. That's right. And John Cantrell in the studio, live on the air, made the perfect defense for, free. for this guy. It was for free. Quick. We were all like, holy crap. Like, like, what mind comes up with that? Now we want John to know Cantrell. if, John Cantrell. if that guy actually a hired him. That's suspicious mind. That should have. He sure. should have. <laughs> Cantrell made the perfect defense to the guy. So that's just a little preview of what Johnny could do for you <laughs> if you're charged with the crime and you need a good litigator. John Cantrell. Chris and Cantrell or Cantrell and Cantrell as some people refer to that law firm attorneys at law are you injured are you in trouble with the law if so give us a call I'm speaking us I'm reading a script here it's Kristen and John you would give a call schedule a consultation today with somebody who is in court and at the jail every day by calling John Cantrell 219-554-4LAW or that's 219-554-4529 or visit our website at bettercallcantrell.com Register now to book your Challenger Learning Center field trip for the 2022-23 school year from simulated space missions to rocketry labs, planetarium shows, and more. For programs and pricing information, call 219-989-3250 or visit clcnwi.com. Miss Print. Miss Print specializes in delivering the highest quality signs and printing and metal business cards on time and other under budget. This thing's getting beat up from slamming it against the table. Before you know it, you're going to have some new ones. I already have Rick. Them. I already have them. Oh, you already got them? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, thank you, Rick. Miss Print's experience and technology allows them to offer custom commercial on-demand printing and sign solutions. Rick Baltensberger and his team have served Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana for over 30 years. Miss Print has two convenient locations to serve you in Munster and in Hammond. And last but not least, our favorite uh, song, our favorite, what do we call it? Link Jingle. Jingle. Tortillas Nuevo Leon is the gold standard of Mexican cuisine throughout the Midwest. Look for Tortillas Nuevo, Le Tortillas Nuevo Leon's popular red and white label at your local grocery store and enjoy quality Mexican products made with local expertise. Tortillas Nuevo Leon, hechas con amor, para ti y tu familia de todo corazón. Tortillas Nuevo Leon, hechas con amor, para ti y tu familia. De todo corazón. Is that a tattoo on your wrist? I have many tattoos. Wow. Okay. We've talked about oh, this. Have we? What is that? The new one on what your is wrist? That is that one? lungs? It's is a, that a new, new one? one on your wrist? It's on my arm, and what it is, is lungs, yes. That's what I thought it was. Lungs What's the on purpose your... of that? Is that um, because you have my, asthma? Well, yeah. my friends and I are in the medical field <laughs> and all got organs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank God you picked lungs. I know. I've got asthma, so I figured it kind of fit. <laughs> That's what I guess. Like, it was like any any organ would have chosen. Yeah, you my friend got like a brain. The other friend got a heart. And I got lungs because I've got asthma. All right. What organ would you choose, Tom? Ovaries. I don't have ovaries. <laughs> though, but like, if I was Lindsay, wow. I would have picked uterus. ovaries. <laughs> yeah, right. Which organ would you hey, there's, there's the name of the time. There's the name of the episode. <laughs> what? And you said it so how did you even? I, how did you get that out of your mouth so fast? <laughs> <laughs> it was like instantaneous. I just think she should have. It would have been. You could have chosen any like, organ. I swear, John was, when John was asking the question, I was like thinking like, oh, man what would i choose it was like boom I, i've been thinking a lot about this obviously i am and then my why didn't you tattoo, get ovaries Lindsay? Why didn't i'm gonna you get, get a ovaries? uterus and yeah. it's gonna be right on my chest i'm right pushing here. Lindsay. Oh, by the way <laughs> like what the hell's going on with me not being a grandpa like i have a lot of oh, grandpa God. friends damn yeah, i'm oh. in school for a year and a half now it's all right. I am not going to squeeze one out <laughs> while you I'm know, still You in squeeze school. one out like in about a, a year. And then I got to work. I got to work for like a year before Dude, I'm I qualify Tom, tell Lindsay when leave. you want to be a grandpa. Give I her know. the date. <laughs> like, Lindsay's my best chance. <laughs> Lindsay's my best chance. She's married. Currently, and, she's, and, yes, right? I would say currently, right. yeah. I don't know. I, you well, know. You're betting on Tommy, the boys, aren't you? They can still knock somebody Chase, out. Well, she's Chase your only daughter. So Chase and Eileen are in a place in Chicago where they're more like about the nightlife and hanging out with their friends. Absolutely. Lindsay's in a loving marriage right now. Mm-hmm. They have a house. Like she's got a good job on the way. On the way in a yep. year and a half. Okay. They have a snowblower. Yeah, <laughs> and a snowblower that doesn't and work. And a snowblower. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, by the way, Kevin and I were at uh, True pre-showing last night, and uh, yes. we got into this debate about how long of a long shot I am to win this race. Mm. So, like, because I was like pointing out, I went through Todd Young's uh, finance reports yesterday mm -hmm. myself, and by the way. Like incredible how much money he takes from like petroleum and gas and you know Eddie bitches about the yeah uh, we're gas sitting prices. there we're paying sky high gas prices this guy is taking millions of dollars off of these super packs like Philip sixty six Chevron BP all these like gas companies donate thousands of dollars to him freaking every time he throws a fundraiser but our gas it, money yeah 
Like this guy is, by the way, you know what I, so I walk out of this and I'm like, every corporation in America has purchased Todd Young. Like wow. you talk about CVX. Yeah. Uh, uh, Walmart. Yeah. Uh, you know, wow. Target. Yeah. Uh, JP Morgan. Yeah. Every Air American Airlines. Yeah. The Delta. Yeah. Southwest. Yeah. Airline Association. Yeah. Everybody you can imagine has purchased our U.S. Senator. He is not a Hoosier anymore. He is like a product of corporate America. Interesting. It is incredible. He's a product of capitalism. So I, I took it a while. I was getting depressed. I was like, holy shit. How am I going to? I got hundreds of thousands of dollars. This guy has every corporation in America that's donated to his campaign, including gas companies. And this guy bitches about gas. It's such a hypocrite. He's taken all this money from gas companies and he complains about the price of gas. I saw that like Shell or somebody um, had the rec- a record breaking quarter mm-hmm. now, i want to say i want to say nine billion but that sounds way too much but it was maybe 1.9 wow. billion but a lot of money so i mean it, it i agree with you it's interesting to see that our u.s senator from indiana is getting donations upon donations upon donations to equal five million dollars from these interests that then he goes on and just pretends like hey i'm just gonna bitch about gas prices even though i took money from the oil industry uh big pharma check uh, mm-hmm. Gas companies, check. You know, polluters, check. Exelon, check. Nipsco, check. You know, Duke Energy, check. Like you like utilities, eh, they all bought them too. <laughs> it's, it's like everybody that you hate has purchased the Todd Young's campaign. So I, I was sort of depressed last night, telling Kevin, I'm. It's like uh, I'm the 1980 U.S. Olympic team, and I'm going up <laughs> against the Soviet Union, right? It's like he is the hated the Soviets, and my he is the hated Soviets. It, it's, and by the way. The Americans won that one. Yeah, they did. Right. Spe- well, think about this. We had over the weekend. We had a longest of the long shots. Rich Strike. Yeah, eighty to one. Oh, he won also, right? He won. Right. Woo. Came out. He wasn't even in the race in the, the Friday before Dude. the Derby. So I'm like Rich Strike. How about Buster Douglas? I, I can shot. tell you where I was for that fight. In so I was in Philadelphia watching it on TV, I was and in the that was an unbelievable upset. Yeah. Nobody thought I, right. I, we were watching like, Oh, let's watch Buster Douglas get his ass kicked. So hold it. We keep on bringing up all these, these underdogs that win. Well, maybe there's a theme here. Well, what about the underdogs that get their ass kicked? The, yeah. That's just like normal. Nobody talks about them. Like I'm going to go up against Mike Tyson. And he just gets beat down. Like 2022 like, oh, Cubs. Shit. Nobody remembers him anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 2022 He's probably Cubs. dead. I am the 2022 Cubs. The Cubs from the seventies. The Frank the, the tank 50s. is my first baseman. There you go. Sorry, Lindsay. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's fine. Uh, if you went against Mike Tyson, you'd probably be dead. So. Well, Unless I fell down within like 25 seconds. Or he fell down and you accidentally... Maybe he'd slip on water or something. He got into it with somebody on a plane recently. And I was like, that guy is going to die. It wasn't his fault. I agree. They were going at him a little bit. Yes. Dude, like you have a right to be in public. Mike Mike Tyson has a right to be on an airplane. By the way... First class minding his own business. The other guy was wasted, like bugging him. Are you going to... I mean, are you going to... What? He's going to try to sue him, obviously. I just don't understand. Maybe that was it. But I'm thinking to myself under... You know, how would you ever think it was a good idea to like get engage mike tyson in some sort of a- angry Dude, banter serious, even if you're drunk i mean <laughs> what are you thinking okay you let me tell you video, what, right? let me tell yes. you what he's thinking let me tell you what he's thinking let's Crazy. play this out because i i've been on the other end of these types of lawsuits mike tyson's minding his own business the other guy's wasted the other guy's being a pain in mike tyson's ass the whole time getting in his face finally mike tyson snaps and beats the shit out of him right the other guy files a lawsuit against him for battery saying mike tyson beat the shit out of me and then mike tyson's like i'm gonna take this to trial because the other guy instigated it and then finally mike tyson says this is bullshit i'm just gonna sell all this case and gives him a couple hundred thousand that's I, how this is going to work out this guy's going to end up with six figures because mike tyson's going to figure out it's easier to settle this case than it is to freaking keep litigating i this. wouldn't take the chance of him i mean he could kill you seriously so this guy was like all right i'm going to take a beating from tyson knowing i'm going to sue him i don't know yes. that i would take that chance i would well, also, i don't think like i would he said either he was drunk too right there, it is. So, like, he's there not it is look at him mind. he's clearly like mike my, tyson's my own business. having a drink he's relaxing in first class by the way and this guy's behind him i guarantee you this guy's like <laughs> this is george What's talking to mike tyson bro he's ignoring me this shit crazy bro mike tyson <laughs> Dog done got lit, man. He over here rapping with Tyson. Mike Tyson's Tyson trying to give us some shrooms. Mm-hmm. I think about it. <laughs> you don't know how to act. This guy, honestly. Tyson looking out, this man. Guy's a douche. Oh, oh my. Look at him. Hey, Mike, like Tyson Mike, is going to kill him. Let's go stop back. This is the worst, man. Jet blue, <laughs> oh no! He's got a black guy. Good. <laughs> Look at his side of his head. Yeah. Too. 
Yeah. Wow. I he, mean, he deserves every bit of it. He broke skin with his knuckles. So uh, is he going to file a lawsuit against Mike Tyson? You would I hope so, and I, mean, I hope he, he should, loses. But he will. He would lose. It's going to settle. It'll be one of those nuisance. I hope it's one of those Mike Tyson just like, no. I'm gonna- I agree. And then you take a chance. What if a jury finds him you know, liable, and then he has to pay... <laughs> I'm telling you. I would you. hope the civil justice system in America is smarter than that. This guy deserves every bit he got. How many times have we had lawsuits filed against us where we had to settle it because it just made more sense to settle it, Kevin? I mean, the good thing, I, I would say less than usual because usually you're one of the people that says, we're not settling that case. I've settled some cases I didn't want to have to yeah. because well, because hope. it made more sense to settle. This guy so doesn't deserve a dime. That guy's a loser, isn't he? Oh, that could total be. loser. Wah, wah, wah. Right. When's the election? November 7th? Yeah. Eighth. That's eighth? Gonna, November eighth. eighth. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, someone's gonna be looking like that November eighth. It could be the true underdog story. <laughs> you know, <laughs> photoshop my face there. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Man. No. Wah, wah, wah. That guy looks so. Sick. He is. He looks sad. <laughs> he deserves to look like that. Yeah. Every bit of it. Let's let's end the show on a good note today. All right. Some nudity. <laughs> oh. Ovaries. Brittany. I didn't even nudity know. and mental I didn't even illness. Know about this, dude. Britney Spears. I, Free I think, Britney, Tom. I think she needs a conservatorship again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> unfree Britney. We unfree her for like a couple months, and she's, she threw up, what, five n- why, nudes in a row last why night? Why does we a woman's her. nude body offend <laughs> we freed her. you so much? Oh, it does not offend me at all, Lindsay. Okay. At just all. Not even the slightest bit. I think it's very nice what <laughs> okay, she did personally. just enjoy it. You know, she's and move by gorgeous. day. She has a beautiful body. Like, but Not according look, to her. She looks freaking ridiculous. So All right, let me, ridiculously whoa. amazing. What the hell? Like seriously? So Hello. let's let's review. Hello, Brittany. A lot of women her age would kill to have that body. Uh, agree. Lock, Lockpod. I'd has, show it off too. Hell yeah. Whoa. Lockpod has in the past discussed Britney Spears on several occasions, including when we had to talk about her freeing herself from her father's conservatorship. Right. Um, and then yesterday, within the space of five hours, uh, she uploaded a string of the same <laughs> image six times. <clears throat> Just in case oh. you missed the first five. <laughs> the only difference was it was shading and closeness. So I thought maybe she was just testing out different filters I also, on I Instagram. I have a feeling that because she hasn't been monitoring her own Instagram for so long that she doesn't fully understand how it works. <laughs> yeah, you think? Well, because they've had somebody <laughs> monitoring it for Maybe her. the Wi-Fi connection is poor yeah. where she is. Well, no, She's it's like, just... I don't think this one uploaded. Let's Let do it do... again. Let me try it five times with a different <laughs> filter. Wait, huh? did she upload it five times or did she just upload five of them in no, post? No, same upload. photo five times with posts. Like one of them she said... Photo dump of the last time I was in Mexico before there was a baby inside me. Why the heck do I look 10 years younger on vacation? Wow. You know, I think I, I know what's going on here is that she uploads it and then she goes to her feed and doesn't see it immediately. So then she goes back thinking mm-hmm. it didn't post. I have a different theory. Okay. <laughs> she's completely wasted, has no idea what she's doing. She's and then not she wasted, forgets she's she posted. Pregnant. How do you know? Uh-huh. Okay. She doesn't look too sober there. I hate to break it to you. These so, pictures, you know, like she says in her caption, are from before she had a baby. Some of her, some of her um, so she comments could, uh. from her fans say, "Do you want your son's friends seeing this type of thing? You're better than this. Your She's son's friends want to see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? What are you doing? Stop it! Oh no, Brittany, don't do these things." And then uh, the article is like, "However, it appeared though the comments fell on deaf ears. It's just hours later." She shared another similar snap. <laughs> She's forgetting. She's like, did I post this? Let's do it again. Over 300,000 likes, though. Wow. I will yeah. say, including, I, I including went to her the fiance. Post. I went to the post, and there are equal amounts of people saying, you know, fire emoji, we love you, we love you, mama. <laughs> yeah, I bet you they're most, <laughs> most of guys. Mama. mama. <laughs> oh, my God. I love you, queen. Yeah. See? Standing. Yes. Yeah, All the stands. I'm, Stand. I don't know. I I've loved Britney Spears since I was a very small oh, child. She's the queen of pop. We, uh, she was like that was my my pop star. Some people, you know, yeah. they have Janet Jackson. Some people like no, Britney Spears was my pop star that I've liked, like. You're a stan. I've loved since I was in kindergarten. I've saw her in Vegas. Yeah. Whoa, really? you did, John? It I'm was so jealous. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. the show does, or just she, her? She, she puts the on a show. great show. The show. Yeah. Oh, I, oh. Bet she, I bet she puts on it. Is she still the? Show. She's a, I will defend her with every fiber of which, my being. Which con, which casino was it, John? I'm trying to remember. Is I don't it uh, Free Planet Britney. Hollywood? Right. That sounds right. That sounds right. Yeah, Planet Hollywood. Yeah. Is she still playing there? Oh, God, no, no, I don't think she's so. man. I uh, go the, see her now. She's yeah. posting snaps of herself multiple well, times. Well, what triggered the the fall of the conservatorship is that she refused to do. Uh, gotcha. The the new tour or the new like residency, residency, right? And because of that, they sent her to rehab, and then everyone like was like, "Why?" Just because she's refusing to work, and right. then it got a lot of attention, and then it just kind of snowballed from there. What are these tattoos above her? Uh huh. 
Is that a cross or a plane? I think those might be um, filters. <laughs> That's no. not how oh, filters yeah. work, Kevin. No, the heart oh. is a filter. Oh. Yeah. No, no, no. One looks like a star. Chris is listening to the show, so okay. I'm not looking. You're not so. looking too closely at that. I think uh, they're lungs or ovaries. Yep. <laughs> 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 one, one, one side lung and one side ovary. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, so, anyway, if you want to treat, uh, <laughs> check out. If you wanna, uh, like, if follow you want, Instagram. Yeah. Britney I Spears used to Instagram. follow her. It got sad, so I stopped following her because yeah. I could tell this is before the conservatorship ended. I, I could tell. She I was, could tell she was she was wasted. Yeah. yeah. She was wasted in all of her pictures. You could tell. And by the way, like her she eyes on, in this like, picture, and her stuff. eyes in this picture look the same way, Lindsay. She looks like she's wasted to me. It, like this is bad. Like these I are think, just. Well, I think that when she was in the conservatorship and she was on all those drugs, the only thing that she really felt like comfortable in or like any positivity that she felt for herself was taking pictures like this. And yeah. I think she just very has sad. that kind of association. It First thing she sad. did after her conservatorship, remember she went and flew a plane. I thought that was, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, right. hell, if you're going to do something after your go conservatorship ends, you're going to go to vacation and fly a plane. All right. All right. So anyway, uh, another great show. Another Thank one you. in the books. Uh, episode 148, work, if I remember everyone. correctly. But anyway, thanks for listening, to everybody. Lockpod. Uh, you know, good to see Lindsay in the studio again. Lindsay, so you're on Tuesdays now, too. Yeah, I think Jill and I worked it out where, like, if I have a long day of work the day before, then she'll come in. But oh, that was nice of Jill. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, Jill. We miss you, Jill. She's and getting a break for the summer. Cool. Uh, but it's good to see you. Notarius LMP. Jay thanks. Bez, thanks. Another great show. Good morning. Another show in the books. Uh, Kevin Smith, good mm-hmm. to see you, sir. Thank and uh, you. coming from the locomotive here, uh, you, you're another great episode of Lockpod. Uh, and we'll see you on Friday, 730. Take it easy, everybody. Lockpod out. <laughs>